That's right, guys. In today's spicy hardcore video, we are going to be building a giant emerald base. Now, I've done a handful of emerald builds already on this world, like a fully powered emerald beacon and then also an emerald palace for my panda. But today we're building an emerald base, a whole base just based out of emeralds. This video took a long time to make. And if you guys do enjoy it, I appreciate it. If you hit that like button, hit subscribe, join the Paul GG army, and let's get into the video. That's right, guys. We're going to be building an emerald base. Uh, I'm debating if I I want to make it palacey or if i want to make it castly but regardless it's going to be an emerald base i would say that this is probably my biggest emerald project eh, how many emeralds is this compared to the fully powered beacon i'm not sure i think the beacon might be more actually now the mr beast tower now that was the most amount of emeralds i've ever had to use in one given time but we blew that up and uh we didn't get much emeralds out of that but that's fine because i got plenty of ways that we can get emeralds in this world in fact i should still have a handful um yeah you know it's it's, it's not very many it, it, i mean it, it could be more but before we get into the emerald palace we're gonna hop in the nether real quick because if you guys missed it in the last video i built up a brand new nether hub and although i think it looks pretty swanky i also asked you guys like what i should do to change it you know like it's some suggestions have you guys designed it with me? So today we're going to be doing some of them suggestions. One of the suggestions being kind of like just breaking up all this deep slate by, you know, randomly placing other deep slate-ish blocks. That'll kind of just change up the, uh, the texture a little bit. So real quick, I'm going to just kind of throw some of these in there. See kind of how that looks. Yeah, it needs a lot more, but hey, but I agree. I'm, I, I'm terrible at this. I always do that. I always forget to kind of like add some other blocks in the mix. I would change up the flavor. And then another suggestion was to add some soul lanterns hanging around, which I agree. I think soul lanterns are pretty snazzy. They, uh, they, they're, they're pretty pretty. So I'm going to try to hang them with some chains. I'm going to have the entryway ones a little bit lower. Maybe something like that. And we'll skip a couple blocks, place down another one. And then I'll have it like slowly going up all the way to the portal for each one of these rows. And I think that's looking pretty snazzy, adding a little bit of flavor. One thing I do also want to do though is I want to build the portals pretty much up to the roof. This was something that I talked about doing that I might do. And honestly, I kind of like the idea of just committing to it. I got all that built up. Now I got to just break all the portals. And then just light up all of them again and boom. I don't know. I feel like it definitely fills the space, the void that was up there. Yeah, comment down below. What do you guys think about it now? Because honestly, I like uh, building with you guys. I like uh, using a lot of your suggestions. I got some big brain builders in the comments section. But now we're on to getting some emeralds. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are probably wondering why exactly do I want to build a whole base out of emeralds? Because I'm dumb. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Okay, you can relax. I'm just trying to go down to my sheep farm. Please don't hold them hostage. They're my subscribers. That's because I want to be able to house all my uh, my subscriber sheep inside of a uh, luxurious home. Because you guys are living down here in the underwater barn, but it's time to move you guys out. If you guys have no idea what this is, basically every video I have you guys either comment, tweet me, something like that. You guys want to be named after a sheep in the sheep farm. And I'm going to take all of the sheep out of this farm and put them in a giant emerald palace or castle or house. I don't... I, you know, we'll see how the build goes. And luckily, since I've been on this world for a really, really long time, I have a lot of different farms that I'm able to actually utilize to be able to make a lot of emeralds. One of my favorite farms starting off is actually the potato farm because these guys work so hard day in and day out to give me potatoes, which makes life super easy and getting a lot of emeralds. Just maxing them out one time gave me 32 emeralds. And then I also have the other guys that they're trying to trade to as well. And now after trading to those guys too, I'm up to a little over a stack of emeralds already one thing i do need to do before i start getting heavy into trades is i need to get hero of the village which a long time ago i did build a raid farm so i'm able to get hero of the village however when updating the world to 1.17 i wiped a lot of my world and i cannot remember if i saved the raid farm or not so we're about to fly out and find out uh, my money's on i absolutely deleted that thing off the face of this planet uh, and after flying around for a hot minute actually um we definitely wiped wiped the the villager outpost and also the raid farm so that means i'm actually gonna have to fly around to find a new pillager outpost just to be able to get a bad omen to then just do a normal raid Ooh, but while we're out here we do at least have a uh, desert temple let's go on down here 
Uh, we got a golden apple. We got one emerald that's going towards the new house. Ooh, we got three more emeralds and two more golden apples. Yeah, I mean, that that that's neat, at least. Like I said, though, I am going to have to find a new pillager outpost. Um, <laughs> and I have no idea where one is now in the new 1.18 world. I just remember there being a swamp over here. And uh, this, this doesn't look very swampy. And so I flew around for many days and sleepless nights, trying my best to find a pillager outpost. But for some reason, they seem to be rarer than a unicorn. Well, I mean, that is until I actually just remembered that. We uh, recently found one while getting all the 1.18 achievements. <clears throat> ah, that's what I remember. There is actually one all the way up here on this giant uh, snowy mountain. Now, I'm not too worried about making a raid farm, particularly in this video. All I'm really here for is to get a bad omen, which I actually see my guy right now. How you doing, sir? Let me just... Yeah. And there we go. Now we got our bad omen. And then I believe there actually was a village just right over here. Oh, this poor, poor village has no idea what's to come. I'm sorry, but it's raid time. Yeah, everyone, hold on. Can I get a turn? Honestly, it's been a little while since I've done a raid. So here we go. This wasn't quite how I thought the last wave was gonna go, but I'm easy enough, I guess. Uh, let me just start dropping arrows. And now that we got Hero of the Village, it's time to head home and start raking in all them emeralds. I hope this thing lasts long enough for me to get all the emeralds that I'm gonna need. <laughs> and now my next plan of attack is to grab a ah, grab a few of my shulker boxes and just start loading them up with a bunch of things I'm gonna sell. So for example, I got a sugarcane farm. So let me just <laughs> grab all the sugarcane and that's yeah, a full shulker box already. Okay, uh, and then I figured I've already neglected this iron farm since I've built it. Uh, I've only probably cleaned it out one time. So I should probably get to actually taking some of this iron out of here as well. And it's, yeah, no, it's, it's pretty full to say the least. And luckily iron is also something that I can sell. And this is the first official time that I'm actually getting to use my awesome villager trading post that I turned an ocean monument into an outpost. So here, my goal real quick is to make a ton of paper because I have a lot of cartographers. And also I believe librarians, yeah, also take paper as well. Well, so that's super easy trades. I gotta be careful because a long time ago, I actually crashed this world and it completely ruined the entire file to the point that I couldn't play on this world anymore by basically just spam trades. So I need to be careful with that. I'm gonna lose my mind listening to all of these. I was just like, Hur. Hur. and I'm just like, Hur. and so pretty much from trading all that paper, I'm a little over three and a half stacks now. It's time to work on some iron, but unfortunately only one of my armor smiths actually buys iron and yeah, he taps out pretty quick. So I might have to abandon the iron for now. But luckily, I do have a lot more different ways that I can do trades. For example, I've had a very successful, if I do say so myself, uh, mob farm where I'm just going to be able to get tons and tons of rotten flesh to sell to a bunch of the brew boys. And I'm pretty much just going to keep this up for a little while, racking up tons and tons of emeralds. And judging based off the time, it looks like we're going to have to also get a, uh, another hero of the village in the near future. Uh, but for now, maybe we just do a, a like a 80s trading montage, huh? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm calling it quits. I'm done with this. I've gotten enough emeralds, I think, to be able to finally start building up an emerald base for the sheep farm. I have not one, but two, well, nearly, two full shulker boxes of emeralds. Not just emeralds, emerald blocks. Now, to understand how many emeralds this really is, is ridiculous. Just for every one of these blocks is nine emeralds. I've had to get Hero the Village like four or five times. I can't even remember how many times I've gotten it now. I've had to do 
a ridiculous amount of trades. I've traded gold, sticks, rotten flesh, iron, everything you could trade. It's also been IRL days as well. So this better be worth it, actually. The only other thing that I do want to do for this base is I do want to do the quartz combo again because quartz, you're able to do stairs and slabs and stuff like that. So you're able to make it a little bit snazzy, you know, make it a little bit dimensional because everything can't just be squared off. Like this is, I built this when I was pretty newbie booby at Minecraft. So real quick, we're going to drop into the nether and I want to mine up a ton of quartz real quick. And now that we got all that quartz, it's time to finally start building up this vase. And I'm thinking about building it semi close to home. I like the, the epic looking projects to be really nice and close so I can look at them every day, you know? And I'm thinking about finally plugging up this natural hole that like is super perfectly circle. Like this thing is so symmetrical for some reason, but I'm going to cover it up anyways. And we'll just build right on top of it. Now, personally, I have no idea how big I'm going to go with this. Um, I mean, I am obviously on limited emeralds here. I mean, I am building this thing basically out of emeralds, but I do want it to have more of a castly vibe, I think. So one thing I do want to do is kind of build up a bit of a watchtower. That would be a part of the wall. And the watchtower, I don't know, it probably won't even have much of a function. Oh my gosh, I just realized like how cursed this thing is actually going to look. There we go. That works for me for a tower. I'm vibing with it. Something about the white and the green. It just looks so good together. I love it. Now I'll probably start working a bit on the wall that's going to surround the house a little bit. And then also the house itself, maybe attached to the tower. The wall, I'm thinking about mixing in a bit of spruce. Might end up swapping this for birch as much as I hate birch. Birch does look good with emeralds and quartz because it is light. But I also got to make sure that no sheep's going to be a scopping on me. Now for the house, I think the primary color is obviously going to be the green. My only concern with doing green is that it might just be too much green. That's my fear. Try to add a bit of color accents and a little bit of depth by using some brick, some quartz brick. I actually think quartz brick looks crispy. All right, so far I'm kind of vibing with this. I'm debating if I want to make the entrance in here probably over here actually but so far the aesthetics are there all i gotta do is attach the tower as well to where i'm building the house trying to make sure i don't lose any of the emeralds that i'm placing down well one issue that i'm having is that i'm realizing that because the house is gonna be like two stories so this tower needs to actually be even taller i need to raise it up real quick and we'll you know we'll just do we'll do a little bit of magic we'll just there we go. I'm kind of vibing with that. It's definitely working for me. Hey, get out of your spider. It's not your house. It's a decent bit bigger now to where I don't think the roof is going to interfere. I hope we'll see. Now it's time to finish working on the actual living housing part of this thing, which I need to make sure that there's enough room because I mean, there is already a lot of sheep, let alone there will be more sheep. So <laughs> I do need to figure out exactly how I'm going to do this roof though, because the house is like a big L shape. So it's going to wrap all the way around it, which is gonna make this side look kind of ugly i'm not gonna lie i hate doing roofs it's always my least favorite part about building a house you guys know this you know it's my weakness okay i think i'm done with the roof i hope i've also added this nice pretty archway right here to kind of just add a little bit more depth to it the roof Eh, you know, like I said, it's kind of my weak spot. You know, I'm never good at roofs. I wanted to add this like emerald strip through the roof and it kind of threw off the, the angle of it. And I just don't know how I feel about it anymore. And then also the height of the roof ended up catching up with the tower. So I might have to raise the tower some more if I want to add a little bit more on the roof. Or I could just leave it as is. Because I do still got to start working on the inside as well. Because I got to finish up putting all these blocks in for the second... I haven't even finished this back wall. What am I talking about? Um, hold on. <laughs> There we go. Now that this level's all finished up, now I need to dig out all the grass pretty much so I can replace all this with more emeralds. It's going to be so green inside. It's going to hurt my eyes. But hey, anything for my sheep, they got to they gotta live in luxury. And now that the floors are all finished and swapped out, and I need to start working on a bit of accents. But I also need to figure out a staircase up to the next level. Because that's the whole point of this is that's two stories. So, you know, it's got plenty of space. There we go. So now all the sheepers can easily just walk up. And boom, now they're on the second level. I do want to kind of 
gonna add a bit of accents maybe around the edges of the entire house just to kind of break up the green and it'll be easier on the eyes and one thing i am thinking about adding just because i do have a little bit extra emeralds is i want to expand this wall a little bit more which means that, yes i'm gonna have to rebuild my archway dang it because i think this thing looks cool what i'm thinking about doing is building up a miniature tower right here in the front this wouldn't really serve much of any sort of purpose other than the fact that it looks cool but it also gives off a little bit more of a medieval -y vibe you know all right but now it's completed our beautiful emerald castle-y themed house it's hard to tell it's castle -y themed without it being stone brick i gotta be honest but let's be real it is it's got it's got the vibe i'm debating if i even want to add more windows i mean we just have the one window right here Ugh, and that's mainly so i can be able to fly through it i just don't want any uh any sort of sheepers to be able to get out you know which that's actually the next task is the fact that we gotta uh we gotta bring them all over so let's attempt to grab everyone real quick it's gonna be scary i'm not gonna lie oh yeah look at everyone okay if i lose some subscribers you know what it happens it's youtube oh my gosh dude it's an army oh yeah no i'm gonna have to make a couple trips i'm already losing some behind all right come on up guys come on everyone stick together now leave no sheep behind oh no i can't go too fast because then i actually do leave some behind enjoy your new home it's nicer than the panda palace and you get more sheepies this is the problem that now they're just roaming everywhere all right come on guys i'm gonna try to get a really big group this time oh yeah there we go what up they're like actually just pushing me now the sheep army's getting too strong i should have did this before it started growing too much all right here we go stop number two come on in everyone come on there we go okay Whew. i need to lure some of these guys inside or something because if they're all just sitting outside it's gonna be way too hard to bring more through the gate <laughs> it's so scary dude there's too many of them following me okay now we got some upstairs now i gotta go get more all right come on up guys all right somehow everyone managed to still get back outside stay inside guys oh my gosh i'm gonna get pinned to the corner <laughs> all right, and then this should be the last run of all the sheep all right and here we come on no no stop no <laughs> I'm trying to get everyone in the pin. There we go. This should be it. Stop. Stop leaving. Stop leaving. Come on. Oh, great. Now I wrangled a zombie into the crowd. Okay. <laughs> okay. All the sheep are now in the Emerald Castle and everyone's eating. <laughs> and the last thing that now we need to do is just... Nope. 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 Oh, no. I accidentally named a sheep. Okay. This was actually one of the names that I was supposed to give, which is Alma, which gets orange. <laughs> okay. I've learned my lesson. I don't open this gate unless I'm holding any wheat. It's the only way I open the gate. Otherwise, I fly in. And up next, we got Serenity that wants blue so this one's pink now and then we'll change it blue there we go and then lastly we got arcus that wanted red there we go it's getting hard to be able to aim at all these sheep man they're all pushing me around and stuff so yeah guys i usually have you guys either comment tweet me do something get my attention all right if you guys want to have a sheep named after you in the the sheep army the subscriber sheep army because now you live in like luxury but for now guys that is gonna be for this video and i hope you guys did enjoy and if you did enjoy this video make sure you guys hit that like button to let me know hit subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one.